Hello everyone and welcome back to Basecamp. My name is Josh and I'm here to teach you a little bit more about Jonah. And I know we've learned a lot about Jonah's stories over these past few weeks, but today we're gonna focus on anger. You know, Jonah felt a lot of anger towards the Ninevites. You know why? It's because the Israelites and the Ninevites have been battling each other for years and years and years and there's so much built up anger that it was very, very hard for Jonah to forgive the Ninevites. Just as we saw last week, forgiveness is hard. It is one of the hardest things that God asks us to do. But as we've learned over and over again, as God forgave us, we therefore must forgive others. Just like Jonah did in our story, once he finally came to terms with what God was asking him to do, he was able to go out and the Ninevite king, right then and there, prayed to God. And you know what God did? He forgave them. Now, have you ever felt anger before? You know, maybe a sibling has taken a toy away from you. Or maybe a friend has said a not so very nice thing about you. I know I felt anger. In fact, I felt anger many, many times. I was a server for a long time. I was a server at a restaurant. You know, those people that carry around the food, bring you your drinks, chat with you, have a lot of fun. And I've met some incredible people over that time. Hundreds of them, in fact. But along with those incredible, wonderful people, there are also those few that, you know, make me a little upset. They make me very, very angry. And I couldn't understand time and time again why I felt so much anger. You know, I would go home after I was at work and I would yell at my dog, Maggie. Or I would get into small little arguments with my wife, Mackenzie. And I didn't know why. I just, I had all this pent up anger in me. And I finally sat down and I prayed about it and I thought about it. And I realized that the anger was getting in the way. And I had to ask for forgiveness. And once I did, guess what? A giant weight was lifted right off my shoulders and I felt so much better. Now I know that can be a little confusing to understand. So I have an example for you. Let's pretend that this water bottle right here is our lives. Nice and clear, nice and happy, nice and joyful. And this little die right here, that's gonna be anger. So watch what happens when I put one little drop. Let's pretend that one of your siblings said something not so nice about you. And sure enough, we shake it up a little bit. Look what happens. The entire water is now red. What does that represent? That represents that even when a little bit of anger comes into our lives, it does not only affect that relationship with that one person. It affects everything. But, as we've been saying, with a little bit of forgiveness, look what can happen. Would you look at that? It's clear once again, forgiveness is powerful. And as we've learned again and again, God has forgiven us, therefore, we must forgive others. So thank you once again, guys, for tuning in today. I really appreciate you listening. And as I've said many times, remember, anger is powerful, but forgiveness is greater still. So thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you all again soon, okay?